<sighs> Is it morning already? The breeze sure feels nice on my face. I guess it's time to wake up. <sighs> what in the world? Th this is... Serene Village? W why am I here? I fell asleep in my room at the Expedition Society headquarters. So, how did I end up here? Is it just me here? Ugh! My head! Did somebody hit me or something? I can't remember. I'd already forgotten so much of my life before here, and now I'm forgetting more? This is not good. I've gotta try to remember. I know I was turned into a Pokémon, and helped to defeat Dark Matter. Then Chikorita disappeared. And that was when I met Mew. That's right! Mew! Mew came to live with me. I remember the first few days. But what happened after that? What's going on? What? Why am I in Serene Village? Okay, some weird stuff is going on, guys. Um... Well, this... Can we go... Ask Karakosta me? I wonder what he's feeling right now. His daughter just disappeared. Is he okay? He's not here. Um... Well, I guess let's go to the plaza. Head. Uh, I remember. Mew. Mew suddenly fell ill and wouldn't wake up. I've got to hurry back to Lively Town. Uh, so we just go back to Lively Town? Just, uh, I, yeah, I know Mew's in trouble, but I just want to. Let's go to Lively Town. Yeah. So I gotta go to the Expedition Society, I guess? Wait, I should stop at the shop first because they might have something for me. Something good. Uh, anything good in here? Not really. Some weird stuff is going on, guys. That probably has something to do with the person watching me. in here? But then we're... It's not that Mew has been unresponsive like this for very long. It seems to come and go, rather, with these spells coming on unexpectedly. Can you see anything to explain it? It is the influence of dark matter that causes this affliction. Dark matter was not completely erased from this world. A part of it remains within Mew. That's right! Now I remember! We called Zatu to come have a look at Mew. Which ended up with us learning that there was still some dark matter within Mew. That is what Zatu explained. Hmm? Sarian Village? Yeah! I wanna go! I wanna see it! Right. And then, I thought that if Mew just saw the view from the hill with the big tree, that it might cure whatever was wrong. Wow! It's beautiful! What a place! Huh? Mew... is gone? Before I knew what had happened, Mew had somehow disappeared. That's right. That was when I was hit by someone. Or something. I must have fainted there on the hill. But then... What about Mew? Mike? Mawile! Ampharos! Mike, where's Mew? 
Not with you, hmm? What? You were attacked in Serene Village? We came to talk to you, because we just received a worrying letter. A letter? We must destroy dark matter. If we do not, this world will be consumed by nightmares once more. And that is why Mew must be destroyed in the purifying cave. And that is how peace in this world can be protected. You must accept this expedition, Society. A protector of peace. What is this? I fear that Mew may have been abducted by the author of this letter. No way! The Purifying Cave is a place of power, able to put the spirits of Pokémon to rest. Whoever's behind this plot must wish to use that power to end Mew. To end Mew? I understand this wretch's desire to strike out against Dark Matter. However, I cannot agree with this. No matter the reason, erasing Mew from this world is something I will not allow. Ampharos. Mike, please hurry to the Purifying Cave. I will begin rounding up the troops. The Expedition Society is moving out. Mike, it's time for action. Uh, it's definitely Nuzleaf. It has to be Nuzleaf. Uh, so let's prepare for this. I'm gonna bring... Oh, hi, Talonflame. <laughs> what? Uh, let's just do that. I love Talonflame. I'd love to do that mission, but we have a Mew to save. Uh, da 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 da. How many reviver seeds? I think I have enough reviver seeds. I'm just gonna deposit all this. Uh, I don't know what I should take with me. Uh, I probably won't be taking anyone with me. This is a story mission, and Mew's gone. I'm just going to clear out my inventory. Oh, I'm going to stop at Klefki here. Oh, Carbos. Okay, I could just burn that in the dungeon. Let's hurry and save Mew. Oh, I can take people. Silly me. Uh, I'm going to take my best mons. I'm going to take... Oh, no, Amolga. Uh... I'll take Jolteon. And I'll take... Is Salamence available? Or no, Charizard. Yeah, we can take Charizard. Um, in my deposit box, I foolishly took out those items because I thought it was only Mike going. So let's take out that Joy Leaflet and a Weather Leaflet. And let's give it to Charizard and Jolteon. Oh, it's already on them. Okay, cool. Let's head out. Oh, it didn't say how long this dungeon was. Oh, you shouldn't have take, taken that hit for me. Uh, clutch performer. Oh, right, and we also have some carbos to burn. Uh, where are the carbos? Uh, are they there? Yes, they are. Uh, just drink those up. You should really let me pick up the Emrys Charizard. See, that's why I don't see, really see a point to evolving Mike, because we already have... Is that Musharna? Yeah, it is. Because we already have this Charizard. Sure, he's not available sometimes, but... You know, we still have him. I'd rather have, like, a Diversify team. Oh my god. And that Haunch Crow is blocking it. Ow. You are annoying me, you stupid ice cream. Type Bulldozer. I'm just gonna give... I'm gonna just hold on to it, actually. I don't know what's in this dungeon, so I'm just gonna... 
hold on to it. Hey, Meowstic, what's up? What's happening? Uh, maybe I should have taken a guiding one, because this is a story dungeon. I wonder how long this epilogue is. Oh, it all missed. I actually decked out this Jolteon with the Halucha Slam School. Uh, Dizzying Stare, I'll take that. Now, I think we have some Emera Up Orbs, actually. Uh, let's use the Sunny Orb. Now Charizard is gonna clean house. Uh, yeah, I do. Let's use that. Why are you missing Charizard? There you go. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if I could get Heat Wave on Mike somehow. Or is it Charizard that only learns it? <laughs> Maybe I should give him... No, I don't want to give him the Carvos because he leaves all the time. There's no point. The music's pretty. already out of <laughs> heat wave because he kept spamming it oh I gotta get that on him what has that meow stick okay I gotta find that meow stick I'm gonna spend a little time down here and try to find it and I'm gonna give it to Charizard uh, resilient friends my stats from being lowered that's actually I think that's a pretty good one. Oh well we can't do an alliance I always forget about them anyway I'll just crunch on you, Gliger. Okay, we gotta find that meow stick. Ah, oh, there it is. It's a female meow stick. Ow. Oh, you don't have it. Where are you? Just hunting down a... Oh, Hunch Girl. So yeah, my bets is it's Nuzleaf doing this. He's, he feels bad about dark matter and all that. He wants to atone for his sins. That old poppy cop. Should I just run around this room until I find it? Oh, there it is. This has got to be the one. Charizard, you cannot be dying to this thing. Oh, he just got a level up, too. What are you learning? Slash, we don't want Slash. Yep, get your stats. Deal with that Meow Stick. It has something you want. Uh, no, don't use. No, I don't want to use it. Oh, maybe I sh Okay, good job, Mike. There it is. That's the one we want. I don't think I really even need to use Type Bulldozer down here, but I'll hold on to it just in case. And you get that, Charizard. Okay, take care of that, boys. We're gonna leave. Yes, okay, that's what I wanted. Oh, it only does one? That's not that... Oh, wow, you're a jerk now, stick. Uh, is that Barrage? No. I know Barrage is the pink one, that's why I always get so excited. Oh, no. Well, it brought me to the door. Thank you. What is that? It's a totter orb. Okay, let's get out of here. He's just gonna waste his heat wave right away. And that Duosion. Or no, that's Velocis. Wait, what's Prolong? I've never seen that before. Oh, it just prolongs the enemy's bad status. I don't have any status moves, so. I just grabbed a Citrus Berry. So that means I can permanently buff up my HP. 
Oh, eat that up, Mike. <laughs> Heat wave is so good. I really hope there's a way to get it on Mike. I know Charmander doesn't learn it naturally, but he can learn it from move to uh, move tutors. Move tutors. She just can't talk today. But I don't know if there's move tutors in this game. Seem the starters all had egg moves to begin with. I just wasted my last flame burst. There you go. Crunch on Masharna. Oh no, I'm asleep. Amara Swap Trap. If you step on this... Oh, we'll replace? That's annoying. So it just switches our Amaras around? I'm not even bothered to look because I didn't really have anything too good. Oh, good job, Charizard. Oh, there's shiny. I have so many gold bars. Uh, you're hungry, Mike? Well, have a big apple. I don't think I've ever eaten a big apple yet. There you go. A feeling I have a boss fight at the end of this. Ooh, shiny. And a sparkly. Uh, chomp. Ow. Whoa, you got hurt. Uh, go ahead. Cure him. Wow, why can't you beat that thing? Status mirror. It's not really that useful, I don't think. Alright. Oh, it didn't hit the Metagross? That would have been... Ugh, that's annoying. That would have done so much damage. Well, there you go. I don't care about Tiptoe. Pick up all those items, boys. Ow. Oh, it made me flinch. Oh, let's just get, go down. Ten floors? How long is this? I'm glad I didn't have to go here alone. That would have been so, so bad. I'm having a hard enough time with some support here. Oh, not you again. Ow. Okay, we need to use the elixir. Do we have a max elixir? Yes, we do. Uh, let's do it on Charizard. And then Mike will just have a normal elixir. Okay, perfect. Uh, no, he's okay. Uh, no, he's okay. There we go. <laughs> Shoutouts to 69 HP, or XP. And do your thing, Charizard. Oh, no. I said, do your thing, Charizard. Uh, do I have to do everything? Or me and Jolteon, I guess. I have a blaze flame burst. And a 69. We need to get Thunderbolt on Jolteon. Is that Bisharp? And Munch. And Emra down there that just exploded. Not that thing again. Oh, it changes the Emeras. It just, it doesn't swap them, it changes them. It's gonna be a 24 dungeon. I, I sort of feel that. I feel that in my bones. I feel it coming. This seems like a big floor, too. 
path is kind of linear so far, so I'm not too worried yet. Hopefully, I'll stumble across the stairs. Uh, munch. Actually, being fire is really good here. Oh, no, I didn't want to use it again. Oh, uh, well. Oh, what's this? Energy seed, elixir, and these are just apples. I don't really need any of that. I could sell stuff, but I don't want to waste time. I'm already, like, pushing 30 minutes here. I just want to get to this boss or whatever I'm fighting here. Down here? Ah, there it is. It's either going to be 15 or 20. Oh, no. Oh, we all got to hit it. Charizard's just going to waste his attacks on that. And there's a dead end here. I love it when that happens. I go along this long corridor only to go to a dead end. Wow, that did a lot. I'm already hitting more than Charizard. I don't know why I took him. That's good. Well, I took him for support. That's why I took him. That must be, like, that must hurt his pride that the little Charmander's doing more damage than he is. 14, and we're gonna get to 15. That will not be it. Don't use light screen. It didn't even attack. Yeah, Charizard, you waste those heat waves. Oh, you're already all out. The accuracy went up. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna... Here, give you a solid, buddy. Go nuts. Prove yourself. Prove it's more accurate. I kind of need one of those uh, elixirs, too. I have a ton of them, so I don't really need to worry about wasting them. I think I have a ton more in my storage, too. And there's nothing that way. Uh-oh, I'm starting to get hungry, too. Maybe I should just be Charizard so I can conserve stuff. Oh, not you. Stupid ice cream Pokemon. There. A room check- wait, what's room checker? Uh... Tells you there's a shop or monster house. Okay. I also picked up some... Uh... Let's use that, actually. Only increase... Oh! Awakening! Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I wonder how you get Charizard X, then. Oh, he's gonna make sunny day, too. Why is his tail, like, so big? It's probably gonna run out, too. Oh, he put sunny day up. Oh, heat wave is gonna hurt so much. <laughs> oh, boy. This is kinda good. Here, you can have this Charizard. Or Charizard Y, should I say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's a formidable opponent for you. Or the little Charmander deals with. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Just one-shotting everything. It's gonna run out soon. Which is oh, no! Uh, let's eat an apple. I'm running out of... Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna put tight bulldozer on him, too. When you defeat an enemy. I'll put that on me. And... Uh, you get type Bulldozer Charizard. This is my first Mega Evolution. This is cool. Alliance Expert, we're just gonna eat that up. I'm just clearing out my inventory right now. Dizzying Stare, that's actually a good one. I'll replace Burn Guard. That stupid Emera Swap Trap did that to me. I don't think anything explodes in this dungeon. And a guard boost. Okay, I'm all buffed up. I'm ready to go. Oh, the weather went away. 
I wonder how you, like, get Charizard X then. Like, it didn't let me choose. Oh, he's still powerful even without the sun. <laughs> just look at this little image, just a little Charmander leading a Charizard Y and a Jolteon. There's an item over here. Um, I have gravel rocks. I feel like I've made it pretty far. Oh! There's something up ahead! Mew! Stop! Stay back, Mike. Don't you touch that there Mew. I... I know that voice. But it can't be. Not you. Nuzleaf, be him! Then, the one who attacked me in Serene Village, the one who kidnapped Mew, that was all you? I'm mighty sorry, Mike. I know I've caused you no end of trouble, child. Truth is, I didn't want to have to do this. But, but we've got to wipe out that dark matter, once and for all. We can't take any more. We caused so much hurt to good Pokémon. We can't go through that kind of thing again! I... I can understand that. I wouldn't want anything like that to ever happen again either. But... But that doesn't mean... Mew! I'm sorry, Mike. But it's gotta end! You've just gotta accept this! Mew is... disappearing. Is this really... for the best? Really? Do I have to accept this? I promise to stand by you. So let's be friends. Is this really... Alright! Mike thinks I'm great! Is this for the best? Do me one last favor, and don't you cry! No, this isn't what I want. I want us to stay together. If Dark Matter comes back, I'll beat it again. I can't do that again. I don't ever want to have to say goodbye again. That's... Is that... Chikorita! What in the world? Mike. So that's Chikorita. When I was sleeping, I could feel it. Your desperate wish, Mike. My... wish? That's right. Ampharos, Zatu, and Mawile too? I'm sorry, Mike. This was all done just to lead you here. To lead... me? I saw it. I saw Chikorita sealed within Mew. I saw Mew's collapse. And I knew that it was not because of any hidden fragment of dark matter. It was because Chikorita still remained. If only the barrier could be broken, Chikorita could return to this world. But it would be up to the strength of your feelings in the end. That's what Zatu felt. And that is when Nuzleaf and the Behem came to talk with us. Nuzleaf? They wanted to make up for what they had done to you, Mike. They had been searching all this time for a way to repay you. So when they heard from Zatu that there might be a way... A, a way for Chikorita to return to this world. They volunteered on their own to play this unsavory role. They tricked me into coming along with them, promising it'd be fun. 
And that's how I ended up here. But you know what? I'm glad I did! Sorry about beating on you all when I first realized it was a trap. Yeah... That was a situation indeed. You up this good, kid. But that don't matter. Zatu, it really did work, right? It's Chikorita, really. You need not worry. Chikorita is back. I imagine consciousness will soon return to her. <laughs> yeah? Well, ain't that something, y'all? We finally... We did what's right. I'm feeling fine as green gravy. Nuzleaf. Mike. Chikorita. Looks like we meet again. And it's all because everyone helped us. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. So much. Can't believe I didn't see you sooner. That tale of yours ain't doing you any favors being sneaky in the dark, you know. <laughs> Guess you're not in the mood for jokes right now, are you? Where are you going? Well, I decided it might be best if I packed up my bags and left the village again. I reckon I've been trying real hard to avoid you. Guess I wasn't trying hard enough, huh? I know how you must feel about me, and- How I feel about you? What does it matter? It was all a lie. All of it. Every time you seemed to care. Every word of support. It was all because I was just a means to an end. Every time I look at you, I'm just reminded of that. How you played me like a tool right from the start. I know. How you put this world on the brink of collapse. I know. How you brought so much pain to everybody I hold dear. I know. In... Huh? And how you... The real you... How you helped bring my best friend back to me. Thank you, Nusleaf. Thank you. You may not believe me, but the part of me that was still... Well, me... Really did enjoy having you around and all. Even though you're really human and all that, you still felt like family to me. It wasn't all a lie. If I had a son, why, why I'd want him to be just like you. I like being with you too. That's why it hurt me so much when... I know. I know. I can't apologize enough for what I've put you through. I tried so hard to resist dark matter. I really did. But I ain't strong like you. I ain't a hero like you, Mike. So come on now, get up on your feet and try to dry up those tears. Heroes don't belong on the ground crying like that. You're my hero for what you did for me. Nusleaf, you have to stay in the village. <laughs> you might be willing to forgive me, Mike, but... The rest of the world tends to be a little more hard-nosed. But they forgive you. They all do. They know it wasn't your fault you did all those things. No. It was my fault. 
Dark matter wasn't actually controlling me. It just let loose dark desires that were already inside my weak heart. The Nuzleaf you saw before was just a side of me that was there to begin with. And it's still there. And I sure as hell don't ever want him coming back out to hurt anyone else. Once you've seen that side of you, Mike, once you've seen the terrible things you're capable of, it's hard to live with yourself knowing that's inside of you. But we all have a side like that. Me. You. Everyone. Dark matter was making you only act on those emotions alone. And sure, those emotions do get out every so often. But they're not all of what you are. Sometimes we need a little darkness to truly appreciate the light. You can't just bottle it up or be afraid of it. It'll only be controlling you then. And that's what created dark matter in the first place. Emotions like sadness and hate. Those negative emotions reside within all of us. And I know they sound like bad things. But we can actually learn a lot from them. Because of sadness, we cherish happiness. And because of hate, kindness is born. And that's what I've learned. And that's what a friend taught me when those emotions were consuming me. Those are some wise words. You sure have grown up a lot since I first met you. Then again, you ain't even really a kid, are you? But that's neither here nor there. I just don't think I deserve to live amongst them good folk. Not after what I've done to them. Even if they do forgive me. I just can't get myself to go back and face them, pretending nothing ever happened. But I am glad I at least got to talk to you one last time. On good terms, before I hit the dusty trail. Give that little rascal friend of yours my regards, once she's up and running again. I wanted you to tell her yourself when she recovers. She would have been really happy to see you. I reckon she'll be even happier to see you again. So just go to her. And forget about me. I'm so sick of that. I'm sick of forgetting. I'm sick of losing people I care for. Every time one of my friends sacrificed themselves for me, when Chikorita left me at the cost of defeating Dark Matter, when I thought I was gonna lose Mew, it's like a vicious cycle. Every victory comes with a loss. You're wrong. I'm not a hero. What kind of hero am I if the ones I want to protect most end up disappearing? I'm just the one who always survives. And that's probably why I originally chose to forget everything. I knew I couldn't go through with it. I must have known what would happen if I had let Mew defeat Dark Matter. I must have forgot everything so my emotions wouldn't interfere. So I wouldn't have to deal with the pain of losing my friend like that. But we both just met and became friends again without even knowing it. Maybe it's fate. I just felt the pain anyway. Choosing to get rid of my memories amounted to nothing in the end. It's like it can't escape it. I don't want this anymore. No more forgetting. No more losing friends. No more having to lose in order to win. I want a world where we can all celebrate the wins together. Where we can remember all the good times that brought us close. And even remember the harder times that helped bring us closer. I want to remember those things and keep making new memories with everybody. The connections and bonds I've made with them. Even the smallest ones have helped forge who I am after I had lost everything. I owe so much to them, and I never want to lose them again. Don't make the same mistake I did by throwing everything that truly matters away. Even as happy as I am Chikorita's back, I don't want to have to see you go away because of that, Nusleaf. I don't want to have to 
forget you. I've already forgotten too much. So please don't leave. Break that cycle and stay here with us. With me. I love you, Nusleaf. Get you around, partner. And I can't say no to that idealistic little speech of yours. I'll even bet you had all that rehearsed for when you found me, didn't you? Y you mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... You better have kept that there house of mine nice and tidy while I was gone! <laughs> <laughs> Reckon it was getting real dark and cold. I find my permanent illumination a little annoying, but I guess it sort of has its advantages if I can be a big walking, talking campfire for people. Oh, I didn't mean outside. I meant on the inside. Let's go home. I reckon that sounds like a mighty fine idea. And so. Chikorita returned to the Pokemon world. Mew went home to the Mystery Jungle, but he remains both a friend and ally, and promises to come help us whenever we're in need. Nuzleaf was accepted back by the Pokemon of the village, and is now living in Serene Village, along with the Behem. And here at the Expedition Society in Lively Town, Another exciting day! We may not have our old scarves anymore, but that doesn't change our friendship! Now it's time for another adventure! Chikorita and I couldn't be happier. We've 
Where... Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> 